afternoon guys welcome to another weekly vlog as you might have noticed from the title today's vlog is a little bit different to normal because james and i are off on a little staycation and i am so excited because this is something we had planned to do in january had to move it because of the lockdown and we're finally getting to do it it's actually james's birthday thing because it's january his january his birthday is in january um and i just can't wait we've been waiting for this for so long and it was meant to be really rainy this weekend but the sun has come out it is beautiful and oh, i'm just so excited so basically what we're doing is heading to a town called godalming which is kind of like it's in surrey in the hills so it's like a really nice beautiful part of england and it's not that far from london i think from london it's probably like an hour at best and i think that's quite good going if you're looking for something for like a weekend or just a little small break for someone's birthday or something oh it's very bumpy <laughs> and basically we're going to be staying in a little shepherd's hut which is part of a pub so they've got like a few shepherd's huts on their ground or you can stay in their garden rooms and they also have llamas yes llamas like they literally have a pack of llamas on their grounds that are like the ones they look after and stuff and tomorrow afternoon we are doing a llama trek so we walk the llamas through the surrey hills which is beautiful and have a picnic with the llamas i'm so excited are you excited? Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't wait. It's going to be so fun. So we're heading over there now. And I think we're going to try and get a drink in the pub before we can check in. And then we've got dinner and stuff included in the price. I'll talk about all of it as we're doing it. But everything is pretty much included, which is so perfect. And then I think because we booked an extra night on, we're going to have to pay for dinner tomorrow. But that's obviously totally fine. Um, but I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. We have fire pits. We've bought like marshmallows and stuff with us. We've got all of that. So we can do s'mores. <sighs> but it's really hot, so I'm gonna stop vlogging because we need to open the windows. Welcome to our Shepherd's Hut for the weekend. So we are staying at a little pub for the weekend and they basically have some Shepherd's Huts on their land, like I said, with llamas and stuff. And this is the Merry Harriers. I'll leave all the links and stuff down below so you can check them out. All their pricing and stuff is on the website, but you can book like different packages. So we booked the llama package, which includes the llama trek tomorrow. So come in and I will show you what our hut looks like. So this is the inside of the hut. Obviously it's quite nice and small. It's just a shepherd's hut, but it's actually really tall. Like it's got quite a lot of room in here because sometimes with shepherd's huts, you don't have like that much room. But this is the bed, which has obviously got the headboard bit here, which I think is such a nice little touch. And then the pillows are actually here. So you can look out the window when you wake up rather than like just looking into the hut, which I think is quite cool. And then obviously you've got little pillows and stuff and blankets. And then we also have these two little seats here with a little like poofy thing. So we can just sit in here if we wanted to. And there's also a fire pit, which I guess is kind of more for like, if you're here in the winter, which we would have been. But I will show you outside in a minute because we actually have chairs and stuff. Then we've got a little mini kitchen. So we've got a little sink and like little crisps and snacks. There's penguins. Um, and we've also got tea and coffee and stuff. There's also gin. And then he said in the fridge, there's a bottle of wine. So love that. We've got a little bottle we can enjoy outside in a minute. This is Julia Florista wine and some milk and stuff but i bought my own milk because obviously can't have the dairy one and then in here is the little bathroom so we've got two robes on the back of the door lovely and then where's the light switch then you can actually see and then there's just a little shower and obviously the sink and the toilet but it's a really cute little bathroom and the shower is actually huge but this is a really big shower for a little shepherd's heart isn't it <laughs> but you could fit in here plenty of room for activities <laughs> But it's really nice, so I'll show you outside quickly now by myself. There's two chairs here with a little fire pit, and every hut basically has their own chairs and fire pits. There's three huts here, there's another hut behind us, and then there's also this little lake bit. Well, it's not a lake, it's actually a pond. I don't know why I said a lake. But there's like little benches and chairs and stuff around, so you can sit there, and it just overlooks the hills, which is really pretty. The only thing is, we're in this like hut number two, which does overlook the car park, so it's not ideal. But we were saying it's not too bad because if you're sat down, you can kind of just angle the chairs so you're facing there, or we could just like fully turn the chairs around and be facing that way, and it's not too bad. Like we can move the chairs; it's not the end of the world. They've moved their chairs, so yeah, 
very cute. We need to go get our bags now and we can settle in. We've actually been here about an hour and this hut is just heaven. Like it's so nice and relaxing. It's so bright and airy and just, oh, it's heaven. And obviously we've got the little outside space we can use as well. So we've just popped over and had some lunch in the pub, which is across the road. And I think I had a hummus and red pepper sandwich. James had a burger, really good food. The little garden's really cute. And as we were eating, the llamas came back. Oh my God, they're so cute. There's like five of them that are adorable. So I'm very excited for tomorrow. And then when we got back to the hut, I actually found a little guide that tells you like different walks and cycles that you can do. So it kind of rates them out of 10. So you've got like eight mile ones that say like toughness, nine out of 10, start and finish at Box Hill. And then it will say like where you finish and where you leave from. So we thought what we're gonna do is try and find one that goes from here in like a circular walk or something. And then we can just do like a little walk. So this one looks like it's gonna be quite a good one. So this is 2.7 miles and it's a circular walk around Hambledon, starting and finishing from here. And then this page kind of gives you like a detail of how you get around. So it'll be like from the church, head back down church lane and on your left is a gate into a field. Follow the path across the field, blah, blah. So it literally tells you where to go to get back here probably still would get lost with this but obviously we know we're in the middle of the Surrey Hills we know that there's a lot of places to see and like things to do walk wise but we don't really know where to go so it's nice that they've left this and I think what we're going to do is do one now and then we've got the llama walk in the morning not the afternoon tomorrow at 11 and then we're going to do one I think tomorrow afternoon after lunch and just like go off on another little walk for the afternoon depending on the weather but we purposefully booked dinner early so it's nearly half four now dinner is at half six and we did it on purpose because we thought do you know what let's have dinner early then we can come back here and we can use the fire pit and like chill read our books and like just have a nice relaxing afternoon evening but the only thing is we forgot anything to do the smalls with <laughs> So we have all the ingredients, but we forgot to get the skewers from the house. So we might have to ask them if they can give us some skewers to do the s'mores, which I'm sure they would. There's none lying around anywhere, but I'm sure they will give us skewers. I, I can imagine they've probably got skewers at the pub. It's so nice. I'm like sat in the window. I don't know if you can see outside, if it's going to focus. But this is what outside looks like. So you've got the other little huts. And then I'm obviously lying here. And then the head of the bed is there. So like when you go to sleep, you're looking out of the window. So we're undecided whether we leave the window open because I think you're slightly too high for people to actually see in, but it's so nice. I actually really like it here. I would 100% come back and I recommend to everyone. Got the hiking boots on, let's go. I feel like I've gone back to school orienteering because we're following this. It's like, follow the path across the field then through two more gates until you reach the road. And we're like, where's the path in this giant field? Who knows? We might end up six towns along before morning. Who knows? But it's quite fun because it's like an area we've not been to. And it's just, it's a really nice day. It's nice and warm. It was actually meant to be raining this whole weekend. So it's quite a nice surprise that it's good weather. And it's just nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Like yeah, you really love nice. being in nature mm. so i think it's really nice to just be outside and like just spend time together neither of us has had phone signal since we got here which is so perfect because we really wanted to switch off this weekend and we've kind of had no choice so it's a bit heavenly i also just rolled down a hill and fell in poo if you want to see that head to my tiktok i'll leave a link down below it's jess m shepherd that was an experience and a half but we're going to continue on our little quest back to the pub We've come to the most stunning viewpoint 
um, it was part of the walk and we just kind of didn't think we'd find it because we got a bit lost but it's so pretty and it's just one of those spots where it's just so quiet and you just want to sit here for hours and just enjoy the view like I can't believe we are still in our county where we live or like where James lives and where I will be living it's just so pretty it's mental to think that beauty like this is just outside of London and we never explore it because we're too busy exploring everywhere else in a moment it will all be gone You, you gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You, you will never regret The things that we'll do Cause I, wanna try While we're out on the walk we thought it would be a good idea to pick up some sticks for the firewood because we've got a fire pit and they've given us like a selection of logs to use but there's not that much and we kind of wanted to use it tonight and tomorrow night so we've been picking up our own sticks on the way that are perfect to use so that we can get the perfect little fire pit going later for when we have our little coffee and our s'mores and everything. Still haven't worked out what we're doing about the s'more situation and needing a skewer I think we should use a stick, but we have not found appropriate sticks at all. I've got oh, that's James's apparently, so he can get three, three marshmallows on at once. <laughs> but the thing is, what happens if you set the stick on fire? Because you know, normally you put a s'more on and you like you put it so far in the stick. I don't know. Oh, this is really muddy. Good thing I got my fancy walking boots. But yeah, we're just picking up some wood, following the map, which it's been a really good map. It's just a little bit confusing. So like some of the bits we're like, okay, have we gone far enough? Have we not gone far enough? What, like, it's just, it gets a bit confusing. But I think we've made it for the most part because we've found all the little stop points that we needed to. Tell me we don't have impeccable timing. It's 6.30 and we've just a second got back to the hut and we're straight off for dinner. So I'll catch up in a sec because we're literally running out the door. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we've gone for dinner and the heavens have well and truly opened. We were sat outside under an umbrella and it got to the point where we were getting so soaked down the back that we just couldn't sit there anymore. So we ended up going back inside. I was being really dramatic and put my little bag under my top because I had my Fendi bag. I don't want to get my Fendi bag ruined. It's expensive. So I had it tucked under my top and one of the guys escorted us back with his umbrella because we couldn't find one of the umbrellas that they give you. We've come back and realised there's two in our room, but we didn't realise they were there before because obviously we didn't need them. And we're now back in our little shepherd's hut. We've shut some of the blinds, as you can see, but we've kept like the ones where people aren't looking in because these huts are, they're kind of far apart, but they're not. So like out of the two side windows, we can see into the other huts. And then the out at the end one, we can't. So we've kept that one as is and the door one. And then James is just doing the little, little log burner here. Annoyingly, we really did want to go and sit outside this evening and like enjoy the rest of the evening by the fire pit, but the weather's just not permitting. We thought we'd just sit inside with the log burner, play Uno, read our books, have a glass of wine and just chill. And then we can try and do the s'mores tomorrow because tomorrow is meant to be patchy rain, but hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Um, one thing I did want to mention though, so I bought some walking boots for this trip and kind of for like future trips because we've got Cornwall coming up, we go to Dorset a lot to my mum's where we end up doing a lot of walking and I thought I would buy a pair of like just decent walking boots online and I found these ones on Amazon and they came very highly reviewed. People were saying that they'd bought them twice, like they bought them three times, sharing pictures of the ones that they'd worn till they were literally just ruined. So I got them. It's these little leather ones and they're waterproof. They're just kind of, I think personally, the best ones I found. I looked at so many and a lot of them were kind of... A lot of them were very like garish and like pink or purple or whatever. And these ones were just like very just kind of like classic black waterproof does the job kind of vibe. And let me tell you, they are the most comfortable thing ever. So we went off on a little walk earlier as you saw and we walked, oh, I think it was like five kilometers, eight kilometers we've walked today. And um, they were so comfortable. They fared up really well the whole way, genuinely no complaints. So I'll leave them linked down below. I'm gonna wear them on the llama trek tomorrow and let you know. And then if you watch my videos regularly, I'll also be sharing about them after Cornwall because I'm wearing them there too. I'm gonna continue with my bottle of wine and <laughs> probably catch up with you in a minute after we manage to light the fire because the wood is just not catching and it's stressing us out. <laughs> The 
Are you really proud of yourself right now? <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the backgammon board out. So this is backgammon on one side and chess on the other. I can't remember how to play backgammon. So we're going to have a little look on Google and find out the rules. Because I kind of briefly know, but not really. Got the wine going. And then we've also got our little game of Uno down here ready to play as well. And then they do actually have a TV here. We're trying to avoid watching it, but if we end up watching it, then so be it. We can just kind of chill and watch it. But it's really weird because it's on the wall here, but the pillows are like here. But I guess you could kind of lie the wrong way in the bed and watch it. I don't know, but yeah. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and we've already been for breakfast, which was so good. We had full English and I haven't had full English in so long. I genuinely don't even know the last time I had one. And it was amazing. It was so good. So we just had like eggs and stuff. Then we also had some croissants and like a cup of tea. And oh, it was just so good. I really enjoyed it. But we are now off to walk the llamas. So you go on a little llama trek that is apparently like just under two miles. And you basically walk with them, sit, have a picnic and then come back. Not sure how the picnic is going to go if it's meant to be raining. But hopefully it holds off so that we can eat and just have like a really nice little kind of sit with them and a proper experience. But I think... Even if it does rain, it's not the end of the world. Like we've already said, we're probably gonna come back, especially with like friends and stuff, because there's five huts here. And I think if you could get like two huts rented out or something, that'd be really cool to come do it with other people. Um, but it's really nice here. It's really quiet. Like all evening we sat with the fire on, as you saw, and it was just so nice. Like we had the door open, it was nice and toasty. We woke up this morning and it's just quiet. It's just heaven. It's honestly so nice, but we're running late. We need to get out. We've got two minutes to get back over before we need to get our llamas. <laughs> Also, can we appreciate all the llama theming? There's like little llama things everywhere in the room. It's really cute. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. We just got back from our llama trek and it was honestly so much fun. Me and James were walking a llama called Diesel, so you kind of do it in pairs. So there was us and then there was like two mums and daughters and we got a llama each. There was Diesel, Lorenzo and Champagne. Champagne was like the epitome of like, he just looked like a crazy llama, didn't he? Like his ears were like down and he was like, he was just really cute. And then Diesel was like the leader of the pack. Like he's the dad of a few of them and he was just really like chilled, just walked really well, just kept stopping to eat and he was really nice. but. It was so fun, like we went on a really nice little walk and then let them have a little roll around and stuff, came back down and I think it was about two and a half hours in total so it was quite a long one and then as soon as we got back and then now we're back we've decided that we're gonna sit outside for a little bit because the rain has stopped, put the fire pit on and just like read books, chill, have a relax for a little while. My hair is like, <laughs> I didn't even bother curling it this morning because it was meant to rain. And I thought there's no point curling it if we're going to be on a walk in the rain. And it did rain and it was also really humid. So now I've got a bit of a Monica Geller vibe going on with the humidity. Love that for me. <laughs> We've had a change of plans. It started chucking it down with rain, so we've come inside and we're now playing Uno, chess, and pretty much anything else that we feel like playing because we've got dinner in an hour and it just seemed like the right thing to do. So we've got our little coffees here. I've managed to read more of my book, which is something I really wanted to do here because obviously we're here for like a really nice relaxing getaway. We're not like planning to do very much. We weren't planning on like seeing much of the area or anything. We just wanted to chill. So I bought this with me and I've managed to get halfway, which I think is pretty good going. So hopefully I can finish this by, if not by the time we go home, then hopefully by the time we go to Cornwall, which is in like three days when we get back. But oh, it's been so nice. Have you enjoyed it here? It's been so nice to relax, hasn't it? Mm. We've had literally no Wi-Fi at all. 
in the hut you get minimal wi-fi when you're in the pub so we've had it literally when we eat but then when we're eating we're not really on our phones and like on our walk and stuff we didn't really have it so it's just been so nice to switch off and just not have anything to worry about and like it's just so nice we're literally sat in a bed now and you can kind of see outside but like we're just looking over the field it's really nice like just looking over nothingness really and it's just really cute and then obviously i've got a little game of chess ready to go what if i beat you at chess and i've never played before Good for you. he's not being cocky now but a minute ago he was like i keep beating you at uno and then i beat him like five times in a row so nice it's not a lie yes. it's not a lie <laughs> who knows uno does who knows <laughs> Who knows who won who know? <laughs> I'm going delusional. I'm just going to carry on drinking my coffee. You know what? I've never felt so relaxed as I do this weekend. We've just played chess and just genuinely, oh, I just caught my earring. Just chilled and it's been so nice. So, but the time has come to go and get dinner. We have two courses included in our package. So we did the llama love package, which basically gives you like the llama trek, dinner and the stay and everything. So we're gonna go over now. We get two courses and you can either have obviously starter or dessert. What are you feeling? Dessert. I'm feeling dessert. I'm not really a startery person. I have a habit of always spying the sticky toffee pudding wherever we go. Like I will see that before anything else on the menu. Um, yeah, I need to get my shoes on and we're gonna head over. So the shepherd's hearts are basically attached to the inn, which is like a 16th century inn, which is really cool. This is kind of where we're sat. And it's quite big, so it's got different rooms. We're the only ones currently in this room because we're having dinner at six. And there is like other little rooms and stuff with people in. We've got board games and stuff you can play if you want to. There's a really big outside area if you want to sit out there. But we're like tucked away in a little corner and it's just so nice and cozy. And then after this, I think we're gonna head back and play some games, watch TV, have a fire, and just have like a really cozy evening in again. <laughs> God, I can't speak. And have a really cozy evening in again, but oh, I just need to eat this because it looks delicious. Oh my goodness, I've gone for a nut roast and how good does this look? So there's little Yorkshire's underneath, uh, there's a Yorkshire there, sorry, roasties underneath, the nut roast. And then James has got fish and chips. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? So good. You excited? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Yummy. It's time to say goodbye to our little shepherd's hut and head home. It's honestly been the nicest little weekend away and I've absolutely loved not having phone signal. As much as I now can't wait to just like, check in with friends and stuff it's been really nice not to have our phones and just to be able to enjoy nature and just enjoy like it was that way and just enjoy being like out and about and like not having to think about work and stress about things and it's just been lovely i've really enjoyed it if you are someone who is online a lot then i highly recommend because it does give you like a fresh reset and you just feel really rested and like great afterwards and we've used the fire pit loads we've done like we've played so many games what have we played like chess backgammon uno cards yeah. <laughs> done like everything yeah. um read our books we've just had the best little getaway um i will leave all the information about where we stayed down below i did pay for everything as a disclaimer it was james's birthday present from january that we moved so everything was paid for but i highly recommend and i think we're definitely going to be going back we said that what we might do though is next time we go back we'll book the package again but book it with like friends or something just so that we've got other people with us and hopefully it'll be a nice weekend because where it's been quite rainy we've been stuck inside a lot whereas obviously if it's sunny you'd be able to sit out around the fire pit a lot more you'd be able to go on a lot more walks like apparently there's a really good ice cream shop in Godalming that everyone goes to and like a deli and stuff so things like that we probably would have done had we have had a better weather um but it was really lovely and I've really enjoyed it did you enjoy your little birthday trip oh I loved it loved it every second of it good i'm glad you did but i'm gonna end the vlog here um hopefully you loved it don't forget to give it a thumbs up the cornwall vlog is coming next week because as you're watching this video we are going to be four days into our cornwall trip tomorrow is actually my birthday if you're watching on the sunday so don't forget to wish me a happy birthday on monday 5th of july if you wanted to know um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>